Hi, I'm Roberto Martin, and I'm making you my fajita quesadilla. You're gonna love it. All right, we start off with some bell peppers, right? Because that's like always the main ingredient in fajitas. And with these bad boys, I like to cut them nice and thin. So we just come down here, and then we're gonna cut them into a julienne, which is a nice little thin strip. And if you can't cut it that thin, just do your best, don't stress. I love quesadillas. They're basically like a Latin grilled cheese. You know, you have uh, some cheese, some veggies in the middle, and it's wrapped around by bread, or in our case, a tortilla. Uh, something that my mom would make for me all the time. This is something that you can bust out early in the morning and serve it for breakfast. It's a quick lunch with a cup of soup, or you could just make it a dinner or a late night snack. A Little bit of onion in here. And we're just gonna slice up our onion. It's pretty much like the Rasta colors. You go red, yellow, green, and some zucchini. I like to put a little zucchini in there to fill it up with some uh, veggie flavor. So after these are all like toasty and perfect, I'm gonna bring them over to my nephew Steve, who is like the coolest kid ever. Well, he's not really a kid. He's kind of a man, but I still think of him as a kid. And I know his, him and his buddies are gonna dig on this stuff. So I'm gonna julienne these up, and um, I like to cook them first so they get wilted, and you don't have to cook them inside the quesadilla because then they'll be kind of undercooked, or your quesadilla is gonna be totally burned if you try to like get your vegetables cooked inside there. So I'm gonna throw it all in a bowl, and we're gonna toss it up. I like to use a pair of tongs. And we're gonna add a little high heat oil, which is uh, in this case, safflower oil. You could use some canola oil. You could use grapeseed oil. You could use olive oil if that's all you have. But the high heat oil really brings out a little bit of color and um, can guarantee some caramelization on your onions, pull out some sugar and increase the flavor. A Little bit of uh, seasonings that I like to always throw in here is lemon pepper like about a teaspoon of lemon pepper, some salt to taste, that's what I usually use, and some fresh ground black pepper. Okay. Lemon pepper is really, really yummy. It has like that uh, citrus lemon flavor. It's balanced with some black pepper. I'm crazy about it. So I'm gonna get my pan blazing hot. Remember, I already put oil in here, so you don't need any oil in your pan. We're gonna go right in. It should just take a couple minutes. All right, so look at all these beautiful color combinations we have going on. Burgundy, red, yellow, green, white. Lots of different colors in your veggies is the way you know you're getting different vitamins from everything. If everything is the same color, you're getting all the same vitamins. And also, it looks really, really good. If it looks really pretty, it makes you feel good inside, it's good for you, it's good for your family, you know there's love in there. So I just take this till it wilts, till it's just a little bit soft, and this is gonna go inside our tortilla with a little bit of cheese. So while this is just sort of wilting out and kind of steaming up, we're gonna make our, our chipotle sauce. This sauce is so yummy. This is the kind of sauce that you may have over like a fish taco, but it's usually made out of a thick, sour cream like cream. Here we use a little bit of uh, vegan A's. It's vegetable based mayonnaise and it's really yummy. It tastes just like mayo basically. And we're gonna add, see these chipotles in here? These bad boys, these chilies right here that get stuck in this adobo sauce. And here we just want the adobo sauce. That's where all the flavor's at. This is like the primo hot sauce. We're gonna mix that in with the mayo Add a little salt and pepper, and Bob's your uncle. That's it, that's all you need. So I like to taste this nonsense. Make sure it's right where you like it. I learned this from my mom. She would always taste stuff on the back of her hand instead of her palm, because her hand was still clean. So in a pinch, she didn't have a chance to go wash her hands. She could still grab something, move something, and not contaminate it with her germs. And I love that. So our veggies look nice and wilted. Oh, this smells just like fajitas. And we're just gonna let these cool off before we add the cheese to it so it doesn't melt in our bowl. We want it to melt in our tortilla. Next thing we're gonna do is cut up a little bit of green onion and throw it into our veggies. 
I don't like to um, cook the green onion because it wilts up too much. And we want that nice and bright and crisp and coming off the palate. All right, so there's our green onions. I'm gonna put most of them into the bowl and I'm gonna save just a little bit as a garnish to go on top. And I'm gonna grab some of this lovely cilantro, put that in here too, and that'll be our garnish once we make our quesadillas. So the veggies are cooled off, and we're gonna throw in our vegan cheese. I'm using a little bit of uh, vegan cheddar and a little bit of vegan jack. And you can get this, veggie shreds is, is a good one. Um, Daya cheese is my favorite. Follow Your Heart is another really good one. These are cheeses that are available all over the place. So we're just gonna mix it up. All right, so that's that. Good. We're gonna grab our tortillas. These are big, nice, big burrito-sized tortillas. You can get them in any kind of size you like. So we're gonna fill these up with like one-third of a cup of, uh, of our veggie cheese mixture. It's a no-brainer. Fold it in half, and that one's good to go. And we're gonna use a little bit of vegan butter. And from here on, it's business as usual. A little bit of butter in the pan, kind of like a medium, medium heat. You don't want it all super hot. We're gonna throw these down. Two at a time is the best way because your pan is round. And now you have two quesadillas filling up that's it, you're good to go. About one minute per side, nice and GB and D, golden brown and delicious. And while that's toasting, I'm gonna do the final step of our garnish, which is a nice fresh avocado. And this is what really makes this quesadilla into a meal. As you take your um, avocado here, check this out, you just wanna scoop it out with a spoon. And for this kind of use, you don't want guacamole ready avocado. Don't want it super hard and green, just somewhere in the middle, just nice and firm, so you can slice it up. See that beauty? Amazing! A little salt, and keep that off to the side. We're gonna use that as our garnish. And let's have a look at this guy, see if it's ready to flip. Should be nice and brown. There we go. And you can smell this, you can smell like butter and tortilla and just home. It's, for me, it smells like home. So my mom would always be like trying to feed me and telling me, eat something, mijo, eat. And then if you get like, tell like, no, I'm not hungry. She'd get all indignant. Pues come caca pues. She'd get all mad because you're not gonna eat. Cracks me up. What I love to do is throw this uh, little chipotle sauce, put it in a little bag, gallon, quart, doesn't matter. And it just um, helps you with the presentation. If you have a little um, squeeze bottle, even better, right? So with, this is gonna act like a little pastry bag. There we go. And we're gonna cut the tip just a tiny little bit. And that's it, make sure you find that guy and get rid of it because it can end up in the food. And we'll put that off to the side. So here we go, look at that. Looks good, it's toasty, it's buttery. Can share the cutting board with the avocado. We're gonna cut it up into thirds, just like that. And then when I go to the plate, I'm gonna put the quesadilla back together. This is something you could put out when your kids have uh, friends over or you're having a little a little glass of white wine that we're gonna to top with a little bit of avocado. And I like to make sure that every slice has a little bit of everything. Then we're gonna do a little drizzle action. A little drizzle of this chipotle creme. And then our garnish, which actually adds a little flavor. Some cilantro and scallions. And there it is. And there we go. You see it looks really pretty. Avocado, 
And you can see how the cheese is in there. See how it's all melty, ready to go. So I just do a little taco business. Holy moly. Super hot. That's so good. Really, really, really yummy. I'm Roberto. This is my fajita quesadilla. Make it. You're going to love it. For this recipe, click below. Subscribe to the Hungry Channel, youtube.com. Hey, let me see that thing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm so tired. Let's go. Yeah, let's go.